Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkis and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be continuing with the S300, uh, S7300 series PLC and we're going to be jumping today into a thermocouples. We're going to be using the same analog cards that we were using before and uh, the, the, the more specific uh, thermocouple we're going to be using today is the RTD which is a PT100. Those are the ones we're going to be concentrating on today and because I wanted to show a little bit both of the cards. There's going to be two videos. It's going to be part one and part two. Part one will be more concentrating on a 7KF02 card and a part two is going to be concentrating on a 1KF02 card. So that's what we're going to do today. So guys, don't, don't forget we have already done quite a lot of videos on uh, S300, uh, S7300 series PLC and we still got tons to go. I think I've got about 15 cards still to cover. Uh, so uh, do check out previous videos if you want to see how we got to some of the points because a lot of the points I do not repeat they're already there in the program and things like that if you want to see how do we got to that point so then you can go and have a look in previous videos so do check out the S7300 series PLC, PLC's playlist so yes that's what we're going to do today so without further ado let's get started <music> We are. So as always, uh, let's start with uh, understanding the gear. Uh, we've got in here, we've got uh, the PLC, which is a CPU 313C. We've got a, uh, two analog cards. When the one is a 1KF, one is a 7KF. And also we have digital inputs and outputs and some more analogs into this card. Now we've got a drive in here, we've got switches. We've got one meter and I've got a meter somewhere else. It doesn't matter. So the card we're going to be working today, we actually is going to be working with both. We're going to be working with this one. We're going to sh I'm going to show you how to how the wiring for a, a PT100 uh, a, a standard uh, temperature probes works for this card. And also we're going to look at in a 1KF as well, straight after this one. So uh, PT uh, for the uh, 7KF, you unplug the card. As usual, we need to make sure we are selecting what we are trying to do today in here. Remember, this comes with diagnostics as well, which is awesome. So we're going to show you in the end of the video what happens when the, the PT, uh, about when your temperature probe disappears. So what we need is this guy in here, which is the A, which pretty much tells you it's PT100 and all other, uh, other resistors. So let's unplug that out and change that to A. So that's the one we're going to be uh, using. And yes, so in the next video, we're going to be playing with the TCU temperature probes. We're going to use the same channel. So when it comes down to the wiring, this is the wiring diagram. If you uh, want to have a look at this as well, we have a couple of options. We got a four wire, three wire and two wire. All these uh, probes can be used for a RTD uh, family. It's already in the A, it sort of explains you how the uh, displaying is going to look like within your program, what at each channel does, the second channel, what, what the first channel does, what the second channel does, and so on. And it sort of gives you the, 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 the diagram as well. This one in here is for four wire, and this one in here is for a, a two and a three wire. The one we're going to be working the most common PT100 probes are uh, three wire. So uh, at least uh, the ones I have come along, it doesn't mean there's other ones that doesn't exist. So we're going to be doing this wiring diagram. So pretty much as you remember from the previous video when you already played for the, if you have watched the previous video when we played with the four, uh, for the two current and four current, trans uh, four wire current transducers. So the group, uh, the channel consists of groups of four. So, uh, and it occupies two channels. So in here, as you can see for this temperature probe, you can, you, you can have a, a four temperature probes connected to your card itself. So, and each one of those will occupy a group. And as you can see, it shows you in here. So, uh, we, uh, this, this, this group in here, obviously we're going to be working with, uh, with, with again, this, uh, the way it's displayed in here doesn't mean these can do this and these can do just that. No, they can do, every, uh, all the channels can do all the things. So, we're going to be using the first channel with this wiring in here, as you can see down here. So, uh, my red one, which is, which is usually the one that uh, is, is, it, it comes out, uh, out of, uh, well, if, if it doesn't work to swap them around so my red one which is going to be my ic2 is going to be joined up with m2 and uh, m2 uh, ic2 minus and m2 minus and my ic2 plus is going to be joined up uh, pretty much joined up well the two wires going to come out our temperature probe will be joined up with m2 plus so you uh, and obviously don't forget that the, the wiring of the card needs to be powered but again we already run that through in previous videos 
So let's have a look at the wiring in here. Let's zoom in a little bit closer so we can all see how that's done. So this is the temperature temperature probe. It's literally a very basic temperature probe. You know, it's PT100. Got it for a couple of quid. Uh, as you can see in here, my two will go in a uh, terminal two. My red is going to be, as I already explained, it's going to be in a, in a terminal three and a terminal four. Sorry, terminal five. Uh, which is basically a terminal uh, 3 and a 5 is joined together and a uh, 2 and a 4 is receiving both of my uh, blue cables that I come out. Usually standard PT100 is going to be a two same color and a one red or it could be two reds and two blues. Again, usually doesn't mean it's your, if you see it differently, so said, uh, I haven't that seen that many, it's usually I, would see, I always see they come with these kind of colors. So. Here we go. So that's how the, as you can see down there, I've got the linker down here. So that's how uh, the PT100 would be wired in. Uh, hopefully that is making you sense. And don't forget, we always need to make sure that uh, uh, the, 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 on the back, I already said, to make sure those blocks are selected in here. And because it's already scaled and done for you, because all you need to do is select in the program, which you're gonna check out in a minute, you should be straight away able to see rough idea what the temperature is your, whatever the temperature probe is. So let's get onto our portal and check it out. So here we are. So a uh, continuation from previous video, we already have uh, created these moving structures again for very basic viewing. We're not gonna do in any any uh, crazy programming and stuff like that. So uh, this is just gonna be basic moving structures. The channel we are using is gonna be a, uh, uh, IW uh, 272 this guy right here. So what we're gonna do in here We're gonna quickly go into the tag table and change that to Change a different name so can so what it was so uh, where are we to do, 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 do distance? Let's change that one to, to Temperature I think I spell it right. I hope so so I haven't changed that. So the first thing what we need to do, we need to make sure that the card is uh, configured to uh, accept that kind of reading. So because we, we always need to make sure we configure the cards. All cards must be configured. So let's go into the thing. So the last one we used, so the channel zero to one, that's the one we are using. And we need to change that to uh, when it decides to open up. Uh, we're going to be going for a... Um, uh, RT terminal uh, resistor. That's the one we need for the RTD. So as you can see down there, the first oh, first one popped up is a PT100. So and if you if you have a look at that, these are all the ranges which I already showed in the manual uh, in a little bit a little uh, page. In there, don't forget, guys. There's a manual for all of these. This is attached in the description below. If you want to read up, and there's a whole it's it's it's, it's a manual. I think it's I called it the the instruction manual for all the cards or something like that. In description if you want a manual yourself you can get it from there so PT standard range which is uh, fair so and that's pretty much all we need to do in here yeah that's all we need to do uh, we also have a, a diagnostics uh, being uh, activated as well for this specific channel so I haven't done that so once you've done that from configuration load that into your PLC to make sure the PLC knows what you are trying to do when he decides to uh, as I said, sometimes because I just, I just literally just, oh, that's oh, because we're not, we're not even on. So let's put the whole thing on. I just realized why is he asking me for that? So let me just take that one off. I just loaded up my uh, TR portal, guys. Remember TR portal. I don't know how about you, but my uh, laptop sometimes takes about 10 to 15 minutes for him to really get in the gear, and once it does, oh, it runs very smoothly. So uh, here we go, the PLC is on, so now it should go straight into the load window, yep. So there we go, so uh, let's pump that in. Come on buddy, do your business, people are waiting. So uh, do that. Come on. Thank you. So I haven't done that. So we should be able to go now into our program and my, my facility in here, my, my workshop in here is roughly about 22 degrees. So we should see roughly the reading in that area if we all wired and all went well. So uh, 
So do that. Let's actually do that in there. Why we jumped it, I don't know. So let's power up. See the monitoring. And here we go. It shows me that I am here with roughly about 22.5 degrees. And that's exactly what my temperature is. If I, one sec. So if you see in the camera, like in a window in there, that's pretty much as you can see. About 22 degrees and each displays 20 uh, 225, so that's roughly about 22.5 degrees. So that's for this channel, and that's literally how the PT100 wiring is done with a 7kf01 or slash 02. So let's jump quickly on to the 01 because it's a little bit the not the 01, this the 1kf card because it's a little bit done differently. So, so you jump on that and let's check that out. Oh, and before we do that, I just noticed on my little thingy that we have an SF uh, fault on it. Let's say quickly have a look at what that's all about. So uh, in uh, diagnostics, like we did in the last one. So uh, channel diagnostics. Oh, it's because my uh, channel two, my channel two and three is in. Uh, it's been configured to. Let's go into the uh, thingy. Come on, let's check it out. No, whatever reason. Input. Oh, oh, because I changed the uh, I changed the uh, uh, cards in the background. He he thinks now that they are different. Let me just. Uh, I need to check because he wants me to fix that. So because the configuration is incorrect. So. Uh, what did I add it on there? I think I added the. Uh, if let's do this, I think I I can't remember now what I added on there. So I think I added A as well on that one. So uh, let's. Oh yeah, we need to go offline, don't we? Let's go offline and see if we can fix that fault. Uh, actually, what we're gonna do in here? We're gonna power it down. I'm gonna power down. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do anyway. Because now I know I don't know what's being connected to that channel. So uh, let's let's unplug and have a look at it. So it's connected to a C4 wire. So I think that I think what we have in here, because I must have must have changed around. So now is uh, now saying that there's an issue with it. So let's power back up and let's move that. Uh, screen down so and change that for f uh, for the four wires if we set up the two wire so let's change that one to a four wire transducer and that four technically should go away so uh, I'm trying to fix this fix this problem so uh, because we have no diagnostics activated but looks like he's picking up without di even diagnostics being connected uh, saying that you have to diagnose it he even says that this configuration is incorrect, which is good. I like that. So uh, let me. So, and here we go. The fold disappeared. So uh, let's double check that in our diagnostics. We need to uh, go online for that and have a look at it. Make sure that is the case. In this, all happy in Debbie. So. And here we go. So we are in diagnostics. We have all no problems. Oh, here we go. So we uh, fixed that problem. So just in case I thought I'll bring you guys along, show you how that works. So let's jump on to the next card. Oh, and before we go again, I will show you what happens if temperature probe disappears. So let me just add a bigger screen. So here we go. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna move uh, one of the wires off. Which is, let's take this one out. So here we go. The fault has come up, as you can see. Fantastic. We just don't want you to touch anything that we don't want you to touch. So you can see SF has has popped up, saying that there is a fault. That's why diagnostics, guys, it is so good when you have it, and especially if you know what those diagnostics means and uh what to look for let's look at the as you can see analog input wire break fantastic this is why diagnostics cards are so good so anyway enough with this card let's jump on the one that doesn't have diagnostics cards but i show you how to wire in the temperature sensor 
which by the way can only do PT100, it doesn't do the TC ones in that card, and but uh, either way, I'll show you how that works. Actually, boy, just look at the time, and I uh, think we're gonna be have to do that in, in the next video because uh, I know this you guys do not like watching a long video, so we're gonna uh, cut that in a part one and part two. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully, this video has been helpful for you for you to get yourself temperature probe set up at least a PT100 PT, uh, one for the 7KF02 card. And so, in the next video, we're gonna jump on to a uh, 1KF02 card, which I actually have fun with it. So, uh, yeah. Yes, we can do that in the next video. So yeah, don't forget to like the video if you do like the video. If you don't, dislike it, comment below or uh, uh, ask any questions. I'll answer them as soon and as accurate as I can or not. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.